The Toronto Wolfpack, no stranger to firsts, mark another milestone Saturday when they host the Hull Kingston Rovers. The venerable visitors, whose history dates back to 1882, are the first Super League side to visit Toronto. The second-year Wolfpack, looking to continue their rise up rugby league's ranks, have never beaten a team from the top flight. Newly signed winger Mason, Cat and Brown will have added responsibilities on Saturday, as the Toronto Wolfpack will be without their first-choice wingers against Super League side Hull Kingston Rovers in a Super 8's qualifiers game at Lamport Stadium. Neil Davidson, the Canadian Press, Toronto, which topped the second-tier Betford Championship with a 1 February 20 mark this season, suffered an embarrassing 66-10 defeat at the hand of the Super League Warrington Wolves in Ladbrokes Challenge Cup play in May. In 2017, Toronto lost 29-22 to Salford Red Devils in the same knockout competition. Those two Super League losses aside, Toronto boasts a 2nd of March 41 career record. Read more. Article continued below Toronto Wolfpack sign Mason Patton Brown to postseason roster Toronto Wolfpack schedule for Super 8's qualifiers release it waiting for travel schedule a pain for Wolfpack after finishing 10th in the 12-team top flight, Hull Kingston Rovers, 8-1-4-1, are looking to retain their Super League status via the Super 8's qualifiers, which pit the bottom four teams in the top division against the top four of the second-tier Betford Championship in a round-robin competition, we are going to be challenged, said Wolfpack coach Paul Rowley, a former England hooker. While both Toronto and Hull K are full-time squads, the Super League provides stiffer opposition week in and week out than the Betford Championship, where half of the teams are part-time outfits, they're 100% capable of being a top-six team in the Super League, but they're inconsistent, Rowley said of Hull K R. by way of analysis. And that's why they are where they are. Article continued below the top three sides in the Super 8 qualifiers are in Super League status while number four takes on no. Five in what is dubbed the million pound game to see who joins them. Toronto defeated fellow championship side Halifax RLFC 14 0 to open the playoffs while Hull was beaten 28 10 by Salford. The Wolfpack victory came at a cost, with injuries ruling out both of Toronto's first choice wingers this weekend. High scoring Liam Kay is done for the season with an ankle injury while Maddie Russell will be just hours short of fulfilling the seven day concussion protocol, two massive losses. The meters that they make in their carries are going to be a phenomenal loss, said Rowley. Nick Ross Thorne and Mason Cadden Brown, an elegant speedster making his Wolfpack debut after signing from Wakefield Trinity, will start on the wing. If you blink, you'll miss him, Rowley said of Cadden Brown. and Nick's got strength, they both can score tries that are pretty, that take special players to score, Rally lamented the short turnaround of the playoffs, given the transatlantic travel. Factoring in travel, Toronto has just five days to prepare for its final Super 8's qualifier against Leeds on September 22nd, more time is needed, given the rough and tumble game of rugby league, five days is not adequate for car crashes, said Rally. If you have a car crash on King Street, where Toronto's Lamport Stadium is located, now, you're not recovered in five days. And these boys are having several car crashes on Saturday, Hull will be without Australian bad boy Todd Carney, calf tear, Lee Jewitt, concussion, and Justin Carney, ankle, no relation to Todd and Maurice Blair, suspension. On the plus side for Hull, 6 foot 6, 275 pound Samoan prop Mose Maso returns from suspension. Rowley calls him a man mountain. Hull Kingston Rovers are led by the iconic Tim Sheens, who previously coached Australia, New South Wales in the State of Origin series and four premiership winning teams in Australia's National Rugby League.